So even for other two features like uh, like to be at all? You don't have to. It's not compulsory. But... Yes, yes. Oh, I've got, I've got you lined up actually. So I'm going to switch. Sasha, do you want to present to you? I brought your brother. Okay. Next time. Next time. So I've been told that Francie has a poem that's made up of a line from each one of the Wait For Me Daddy poems that are advertised around the way, is that right? Yeah, so we've got to hear this, we have to hear this. Yeah, okay. Uh, so look out your lines, guys. Thank you, Janet. <laughs> okay, well first, an announcement. What will we do next? Next week, uh, Thanksgiving Sunday, we won't be here. On the 19th, uh, we will have Alan Hill. Wow, wow. With Kyle McKillop, who's not here today, I'm surprised. Uh, hosted by Deborah Kelly, who's not here today, I'm surprised. Okay, anyway. So this group poem, and that's all I'll tell you, not my own poem, but you can read mine at the other end of the next block if you are seven feet tall. It's in the, <laughs> it's in the tall window, the high window of the police station, no doubt. So be careful about loitering there, okay? Okay, so here is the group poem, and you can rearrange the lines if you like, but it was challenging, you know, I first I had to walk around and photograph all the windows, so I had the the chosen lines. I mean, the poems are online at rclass.com. You can read all of them, and you yes. can see which ones were chosen. And you can read eight other poems by Carla Evans, who had two chosen. <laughs> she was really turned on by this project. Carla, let me just say, Carla Evans came from um, from H. Holland, the Netherlands, as a child. And they are really big on what Canada did in the war. I'll just tell you that when I arrived in Amsterdam, there was this man at the train station. He seemed to be looking for young people with Canada flags on their backpacks. And he thanked me for Canadian soldiers. And that was 30 years after the war. I, I like the, you know, so I know I know why this is important to Carla, being here in the Wait For Me Daddy monument and all. So this is called, I gave it the title, The Wait. A poem found in the lines selected by committee, and that includes Candace James, and I think Kyle McKillop, interim president of our class, had something to do with it. Our class means Royal City Literary Arts Society, in case you didn't know. <laughs> That was From poems posted on the Wait For Me Daddy Poetry Walk, New Westminster, Summer, Fall, 2014. I leave the mill, sticky, black, resinous, and rock. Low down the hill, the beasts await. Pattern breaks, but knits a bond. Still from afar and top of hills is the endless stream. Men, their green khakis. Out of the blue, a camera flashes. A foggy dusk creeps around, protecting us from evil prints lurching through the frigid North Atlantic. I spend half my life trying to catch up to a ghost. Not someone else's discarded toy, but renewed. Tires crunch on gravel, screen door creaks. When he did come back, he always wore that space. Thank you. Oh. I should give credit where credit is due, and not in the order that the lines appear, have appeared, but Wilson M. Beckett, Carla Evans, Carla Evans, Alan Gerling, here, Alan Hill, here, Janet Quammen here, 
Janet Quammen here. Bernice Lever. Bernice Lever, again. Francie Nguyen. Margot Prentice. Elizabeth Schofield, and that's her first poem. She had the first line here. And Sylvia Taylor. Thank you.